Hello, today we're going to talk about using a full circle protractor. We're going to begin with our vocabulary. First word we have is angle. And an angle is formed by two rays or two line segments that have the same end point. Then we have vertex. Vertex is the end point where those two rays come together. And here's a picture pointing to the vertex of that particular angle. So in this lesson, we are going to learn to measure angles of varying degrees. And varying means just different degrees. Our tool to do this is going to be a full circle protractor. So the first thing that I'd like to do is show you um, a picture of three different angles. And you'll notice that each of these angles has a red arrow going a different direction. Looks one, Two of them look like they're on the inside of the angle and one of them looks like it's on the outside. So when you see these arrows, that is going to help you determine which part of that angle that you are measuring. At the bottom, you can see what looks like the red arrow is pointing to the outside of the angle. And when we see something like that, that is called a reflex angle. So here are our first full circle protractors. I've drawn an angle on each one in red and in blue I've drawn an arrow to show which way we are going to measure that angle. So one of the angles is going clockwise which would be the one on the left and the other one is traveling counterclockwise which is the one on the right. So let's look back at the one on the left. Notice I have the blue arrow going around like a clock clockwise. So in this particular angle, we are going to be using the numbers that start at zero and travel down on the right side. So we're going to look at that bottom row of numbers. and we're going to go around and look at this particular angle looking at those numbers so you can see that the red arrow comes out almost at 128 or Actually, I didn't read that correctly. We're looking at um, between 140 and 130. And then what you're going to do is you're going to count those graduation marks to help you figure out that it's probably about 132. Then if we look on the one at the right, we've got two sets of numbers. That angle is either going to be 50 degrees or it's going to be 110. So if we use the numbers on the top row and we were measuring the inside of that angle, it would be 50 degrees. But in this case, we're measuring the outside or the reflex part of that angle. So I'm at 310 if I'm reading that correctly. It's kind of hard to see on this small screen but we'll do our best. So I know that might be a little bit confusing because we've got two sets of numbers and trying to figure out which one we're going to use but sometimes you have to think about what you know about angles whether you're looking at an angle that's smaller than a right angle or 90 degrees and am I measuring the inside or am I measuring the outside and sometimes that will help you determine 
um, which set of numbers that you need to use on the protractor. Um, sometimes you will have the arrows like I have drawn here which will help you as well. So we will do lots of practice in class um, using some paper protractors and I will be coming around and trying to help you with that so don't get too worried about that. So when we go to measure we need to line up our circle protractor there's going to be a circle on the the very center um, of your circle protractor you're going to line that up so that it is on top of the vertex of the angle that you're trying to measure you're going to line up the actual protractor portion um, line up your zero on one of the rays so you're going to probably put your pencil on that center dot of the protractor itself and turn it until the zero is level with one of your rays and then you're going to follow the second ray that's not on the zero to your measurement on the protractor and I know that might sound kind of weird just looking at the directions right now but hopefully that will make sense when you start to actually use the protractor in class. If we use a circle protractor to draw an angle, which you're also going to have to do, what you're going to do is you're going to draw a ray with a straight edge. So with a ruler or with the edge of your uh, math template, you're just going to draw a ray. And then you're going to place the center of the protractor on the end point of the ray and align the zero degree mark with that ray. Make a dot on your paper at whatever degree is asked. And what I mean by that is this. Um, you're going to be given problems where they're going to ask you to draw an angle that measures 30 degrees or draw an angle that measures 60 degrees. So you'll draw your straight, um, take your straight edge and draw your ray, and then you'll use your protractor to find whatever degree that they ask you to draw to. Put a dot at that particular point, and then take a straight edge and connect your, what's going to be your vertex to that point, and then form your angle that way. Okay, so you draw a second ray from the end point of the first ray to the dot. Once you do that, you will have your angle. So to summarize what we've done in this lesson, um, we're learning to measure angles using a full circle protractor. And like I said, it's going to take some practice. And once you actually see it and you can actually move it around, um, this will make more sense. Um, we learned how to draw an angle. And again, you're going to have to actually do it for it to make sense. And then we discussed vertex, reflex angles, clockwise and counterclockwise um, angle measurements. So that pretty much covers everything for this particular lesson. Make sure you write down any questions that you have. Thank you.